Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. Today's lecture is going to be very very interesting because I'm going to discuss about spark memory allocation. Obviously, whenever you go for any interview, they will expect that you should have understanding about spark performance tuning also. Because many times when we work on the spark application, when you submit your spark application and you're allocating some resources, most of the time you will find the issues like java heap memory your job is getting failed because of memory issues these are the frequently issues we are finding out whenever we are submitting the spark application with the help of yarn so in this lecture we are going to learn about how this memory allocation works in the spark but before i go ahead and show you this thing practically my request to you is please do like subscribe and share this channel so that whenever i'm going to upload a new video you will understand it very clearly again from next two days i'm going to start my hadoop spark training if you are interested to join this real time spark training you can reach out to me all the details are mentioned into the description section also you can see it over the screen so let's see this think practically one more last request which i want to tell you you can follow me on instagram linkedin also you can subscribe to this channel okay let's see this practically whenever you are submitting your spark application you are from one of the worker node your driver program will run so let's say this is your, your worker node one from where your driver program is getting run and you will have worker node 2 worker node 3 and let's assume that you have worker node 4 also okay from where your executors will be running right so here it is going to create one your application master container so here we called it as a am container will get started over here and another worker node your executor container will go will be started so this is your executor container executor container so this is your executor container 1 executor container 2 executor container 3 now how this memory is going to be given when you submit your job by using a spark submit you are going to use yarn as a resource manager now let's say you have mentioned that in spark submit you are going to allocate executor you are going to allocate driver memory so you need to allocate driver memory and you need to allocate executor memory also right so driver memory let's assume that you have allocated called 16 gb and executor memory you allocated called 20 GB. So what will happen? This driver memory 16 GB allocated over here. So 16 GB will come here. 20 GB will be your executor memory. But apart from this AM container, your application master container, this driver container basically, this driver container will be divided into the two type of memory. Okay. Now, if I just draw this driver container, okay, looks like this. One will one will be your driver memory. Obviously, here it will be your driver memory that you are passing it from the Spark submit. And another memory we called it as a driver memory overhead. It's a driver memory overhead. Now, what is this driver memory overhead? So spark submit when you do you are going to allocate some memory let's say it is 16 GB so 16 GB will be allocated over here apart from this there is one more memory we need to specify that is called driver memory overhead so this driver memory overhead will be 384 MB or it will be the 10% of your driver memory 10% so in this case 16 GB of 10% is 1.6 GB. Now, whatever the max, this is a maximum value. 384 MB is your maximum value. So, 
384 MB will be allocated over here. It will not take 1.6 GB because 1.6 uh, 384 is the maximum value okay now this is your memory that is your application master get divided one is in the driver memory another is your memory overhead now this is this architecture this memory allocation is on driver side okay but what will happen on the executor side now if i draw the same diagram on executor side in executor side Let's say you allocated 20 GB of memory to each and every worker node. So 20 GB will be allocated here. And there is one more memory we need to specify that we called it as an executor memory overhead. This is executor memory overhead. This executor memory overhead again it will be the 10% of your this executor memory executor memory so in this case if i'm allocating 20 gb if i'm allocating 20 gb executor memory then 10 percent will be your 2 gb okay so 2 gb will be your maximum executor memory overhead so this is what happening whenever you are allocating your and whenever you are running your spark job i'll discuss about more details in the next lecture for that you just need to subscribe to my channel and if you are looking for a spark hadoop training you can reach out to me i'm going to start my new batch in next two days thank you so much please do like subscribe and share this channel we'll see a more and more videos based on the spark and hadoop thank you bye